Hello ESP followers and subscribers. Hi, my name is Lewis Mitchell. I'm a physiotherapist and a strength coach at Elite Sporting Performance. Today we're going to answer a question from one of our subscribers to our YouTube channel, Keith Burnett. He was asking about ways to increase his neck strength. Now, this is something that I'm really passionate about, actually. I think it's a massive thing in sports performance is how strong your neck is. Um, it's part of your, your spine. So you have your cervical spine running from basically just behind the, the jaw here at the occiput C1 all the way down into C7, then attaches to your thoracic spine, that then attaches to your lumbar spine. So these three parts to your your spine, these three segments make up your actual your spine. We talk about having a strong lower back, and we strong talk about having a strong stable mid back, but a lot of people neglect the neck. So what I'm going to do today is just run through a giant set of some exercises that I think would be helpful for any um, athlete to do, especially if you do contact sport where there's any um, vulnerability from your head being thrown uh, suddenly from side to side or you're taking a lot of load through through your neck whether that's wrestling rugby and a scrum so we're going to go through five exercises today uh, i've picked really simple ones that are easy to do and that you don't need a lot of fancy equipment for so let's just run through them just now okay so this is a purple's woody's band pretty strong resistance and i'm just going to connect that up against the wall you want to put the band just above your eyebrows in the middle of the forehead, a decent amount of tension on it, embrace the core, tighten the abs, and then all I'm doing is protracting my head forward and bringing it back to neutral. So you want to imagine your head's on a table here and you're just sliding it forwards. You really feel this working at the front of the neck and uh, you'll also maybe feel that working to your core as well because you're keeping this engaged throughout the entire process. Once you do 10 reps, we turn a quarter turn and you're just going to do it to the side. And this is a side flexion and then add in a wee rotation too. So you're bending the right ear to the right shoulder with a little bit of rotation of the neck. Again, I'm trying to keep my core neutral and brace everything really tight. And nice, smooth, controlled movements. Switch around, bands at the back of the head and now I'm doing a chin tuck or a retraction. So again, I'm sliding my head back from neutral to an extended position, but keeping the head in neutral. This is a really good exercise for somebody to do if they spend a lot of time on their mobile phone or looking at a computer screen. And to finish the segment, I come onto the other side and I'm just going to turn again. So it's left side rotation with a slight left side flexion as well. So I'll do about 10 reps in each position and then move straight on to the next one. Okay, to finish up, I'm just going to set up our crossover symmetry unit. Put a bit of tension on the band. You can do these with cables. And I'm just going to do a W. So you can do this with a TRX or a cable or you can use an iron scap crossover symmetry setup like we've got here. But face pulls are a fantastic way to build up your upper trap and into your neck. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. You've got no excuse now for not having a strong neck. Get rid of those pencil necks. If you enjoyed the video, then please like it. It'd be great if you could share it amongst your friends. Tag anyone in it who's got a skinny neck that needs beefed up. And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The next target for us is to try and hit 200 subscribers. Please share the video on social media and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.